Ебать! Large unidentified drone attacks. Russian Shahid drone facility 1,000 kilometers from border in Tatarstan. Russian army is again humiliated as the special military operation spreads so deep inside Russia. On the morning of the 2nd of April, at least one massive drone flew into one of the buildings on the territory of a drone production facility in Yelabuga, resulting in an explosion. The extent of the damage is unclear yet. Another drone reportedly attacked an oil refinery in Nizhnekamsk, just 50 miles away from Yelabuga. According to local news, the oil refinery was damaged, and Russian officials are outraged and baffled at the same time after this daring raid by Ukraine, so deep inside Russian territory. Russian head of defense committee Kartapolov have a genial idea right now. Says he needs to take Kiev to stop drone attacks. This is, according to him, the only way to stop the insidious enemy fighting with non-traditional methods. Will someone tell him that Russians tried that already and they got massacred in the process? Clown. В режиме вот такой повседневной деятельности. Мы имеем дело с очень подлым противником, который не воюет традиционными методами, а который привык бить из-под тяжка. То есть, по сути, продолжает все эти теоретические атаки. Ведь что такое удар по Илэбеге? Это ведь не удар по какому-то военному объекту или промышленному объекту. Это удар по общежитию, где живут обычные люди. Поэтому мы четко должны это понимать. Террористам всегда сложнее справиться, чем с обычным военным противником. Но мы справимся. Наши ребята, которые выполняют задачи на переднем крае, там, с оружием в руках, они делают все, что необходимо, как и их товарищи, которые прикрывают наше небо. Well, Europeans are in trouble now. Alabuga representative promises to take Paris and Berlin in response to Tatarstan drone attack. Holding back emotions, representative of the drone production facility in Yelabuga, Tatarstan, compares himself to the great ancestors who took Paris 210 years ago, insists NATO equipment was used in the drones, promises to avenge for the Moscow region shopping center attack. We only hope so that they will not do the conquest with horses like their ancestors. Today, беспилотниками. Действительно, они атакуют торговые центры в Москве, они атакуют жилые кварталы в Белгороде, они атакуют общежития в Алабуге. Именно против таких людей мы и проводим специальную военную операцию. Эти беспилотники были оснащены оборудованием стран НАТО. Два человека ранены. Но кого они думали запугать? Потомков людей, которые в 1815 году брали Париж, а в 1945 году брали Берлин, не получится. Russian media published a video of, reportedly, remnants of a drone that attacked Russian Tatarstan today. It was missed by Russian air defense. A drone that attacked Tatarstan could have been launched from Central Asia, comes another bright idea from Russian MP Andrei Gurulev. It is not a fact that it was launched from the territory of Ukraine. It is also possible that it was done from Central Asia because areas on the northwest side are practically not controlled either from the air or by radar systems, the deputy said. Russia doesn't like the idea of Ukrainian drones reaching 1,200 kilometers inside Russia. Coping mechanisms activated. Они не контролируются ни с воздуха, ни с станции. Провести можно что угодно. 
Russian media report that the drone attack in Nizhnykamsk hit the main oil refinery. According to Russian telegram channels, Russia has not yet restored fuel production after previous attacks on refineries and is now supported by Belarusian supplies. This has already resulted in a sharp rise in prices for diesel and gas in Russia. On the map, the line on the right is Nizhnykamsk. The left one is Kharkiv. Nizhnykamsk is also 1,200 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. Ukraine's AI-enabled drones are trying to disrupt Russia's energy industry. So far, it's working, reports CNN. CNN geolocated the videos to Rosneft's Ryazan refinery, one of Russia's largest, more than 500 kilometers, 311 miles, away from Ukraine. The strike on March 13th, one of several on this facility alone, was part of a concerted Ukrainian effort to target Russian oil refineries with long-range drones. These daring Ukrainian strikes are hitting Russia's massive oil and gas industry, which despite Western import bans and price caps, has remained the biggest source of revenue for Moscow's war economy. The attacks have been made possible by the use of drones with longer ranges and more advanced capabilities, some of which have even begun to integrate a basic form of artificial intelligence to help them navigate and avoid being jammed, a source close to Ukraine's drone program told CNN. Accuracy under jamming is enabled through the use of artificial intelligence. Each aircraft has a terminal computer with satellite and terrain data, the source explained. The flights are determined in advance with our allies, and the aircraft follow the flight plan to enable us to strike targets with meters of precision. That precision is made possible by the drone sensors. They have this thing called machine vision, which is a form of AI. Basically, you take a model and you have it on a chip and you train this model to identify geography and the target it is navigating to, said Noah Sylvia, a research analyst at the Royal United Services Institute, a UK-based think tank. If you think about the sanctions that have been put in place so far, they've largely bypassed energy, Croft explained. It really has been energy exports, crude, natural gas, refined products that have given Russia the economic lifeline to continue to fight this war. Reuters says 14% of Russian refining capacity is now offline. Russia has admitted some of its refining capacity is down and has temporarily banned exports of gasoline to avoid an increase in domestic fuel prices. Блять, вот и до Рязанского завода добрались. Сейчас как в ебало, блять, и прям вот загорелось нахуй перед нами, перед машинами. Вот мы все стоим нахуй, все пиздарики, и Рязанский завод в ебале. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.